Hi there, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use Mentimeter, which is a fantastic quiz and polling tool that you can use in your virtual facilitation sessions. I absolutely love it. All you need to do is show delegates the slide with your questions on, they type in a code and on their phone or on their computer, answer the questions and press submit and the answers appear instantly on screen and it collects all the answers together, it adds them up and it displays them beautifully as an infographic in real time. It is so easy to use. From the delegates point of view, they call it menti.com because that's the, the bit that they log into so they can answer their questions there. From the facilitator's point of view, we use mentimeter.com and that's where we set everything up and where we operate it from so that our delegates can respond. So mentimeter.com is for the facilitator, for the presenter to use, to create the questions and then to present from. menti.com is where the delegates go to answer the questions so that they end up in the Mentimeter presentation. I've logged into Mentimeter. I have a paid account. I prefer to have a paid account because it gives me more functionality, more flexibility, and also because I use it so much, I think it's sort of fair play really to contribute. And they're always making great developments at Mentimeter as well. So the product's constantly improving, even though it's already great. Uh, you can actually sign up for the free version and try that, see how you get on. And if you really like it, then you can go further and sign up for a paid subscription, but it's really good value. I have no affiliate connection at all. I make no commission. I'm just simply suggesting that you have a look at this because I love it so much. And I'm gonna show you a few examples now of some of the results and how they appear once the delegates have input. This is an example of a Menti word cloud. I've simply asked, good morning, how are you today? Is the question I asked and delegates have typed in uh, up to three words just to let me know just a quick getting started, quick warm up. As you can see, bottom right hand corner, there were 18 delegates present and the bigger the word, the more delegates have said that word. And it's a really nice start and it's just lovely to see all this word cloud move around and words get bigger and things you know fly in as delegates are answering because of course not everybody answers at the same time they you know they come in in different ways and delegates like to watch this as well they like to see how it changes and where everybody is so that's the mentimeter word cloud this is an example of when i was running a networking session and people were learning how to get better at networking for their professional development and there were 21 people and I asked them how they would describe their current network. I chose to use a bar chart and you can see how it comes out. So literally the question they answer is how would you describe your current network? They choose one of the five options, very strong with no gaps, very strong could be improved, pretty good, not very good, need lots of work. What network? I don't have one. And that takes literally seconds to set up in Mentimeter. I'm going to show you how, but I want to show you the outputs first before I show you how to create it. And as I've said, in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the number of people that have participated as well. And that number increases the more people answer the questions. Here's a different kind of chart. This time I've asked delegates, what if anything gets in the way of networking and collaboration? And I've typed that into Mentimeter. And I've chosen the sort of question where delegates can either strongly disagree, strongly agree or anywhere in between. So they give it a score and you can see those lines, those blobs moving as delegates answer different questions in different times. So you can see lack of time came out at 3.6 is the biggest reason. I don't like it. I don't know how to do it around at 2.1, 2.2 is the average score. I don't believe that network and collaboration will help me. And obviously five is strongly agree and one is strongly disagree. It just gave me a real flavour for where they're at, and that was with 23 people. And I've used this for really, really big groups. I'm just showing you a handful of examples here to give you a flavour. Now, in this question, all I've asked is, what would you like to get out of today? And you can see I've got 18 delegates responding here. Uh, I can press enter to stop the uh, feedback moving around. But this is an open question, speech bubbles, and delegates just literally type things in 
and you can see um, what it is. And you can also click on these when you're presenting uh, to pull up specific comments. So practical skills for a good competitor analysis, for instance, or quick way to identify competitors. So you just click on things, type in the question into Mentimeter. So you're getting hopefully a flavor for the sorts of things you can do. You can do so many things. What I advise that you do is you have a look in the Mentimeter library and, and just play around and see what's in there. And you can see here, there are, there's lots and lots of inspiration for business, teachers, private events, fun competitions, and so on. So lots and lots of examples, have a look. But how you set things up, all you do is you click on new presentation. We're going to give it a name and I'm going to call it test one. It doesn't really matter. I'm just setting it up to show you. And when you've done that, what you can do is you could click import. If you've got some PowerPoint or some keynote slides that you want to import, click that, upload the file, and then you can present from Mentimeter if you want. So I like to do that sometimes. If I'm interspersing numerous activities throughout a presentation, I like to put the slides into Mentimeter so that I'm not moving from one thing to another. It just makes it a really slick experience for the delegates and it makes it easier for me to manage as well. And then you go over here and you see what question type would you choose? So that's the multiple choice bar chart. So if I choose that, even more options come up. There is a bar chart, there's a donut, there's a pie, there are distributed dots. And for all of these, all you need to do is type in the question. So which do you like best? My question here. So I'm just typing it in to the right hand box. I'm going to have dogs, cats, goldfish. There we are, and I can add more options. So if I wanted a parrot, there we go. So they're my options, that's ready. Then all I need to do is go on to present and delegates will use the code that's generated 509138. You can see that at the top of the screen. They go to menti.com, enter that code, and they just answer the question. Click of a button and their results pop up on screen in the same way that you've seen before. So I'll just exit that because that was the dots one, but there's this is the bar. Doesn't really matter. So you can just change it at the click of a button. How cool is that? How easy is that? All the algorithms, all the things that do the adding up and the stats and everything are uh, behind. So I'm going to add just that they're all wired in. You don't have to do anything. You just have to type what it is you want to know. So let's do another one. The ranking question, which is most important. OK, so I'm going to say which is most important. And then I'm going to say chocolate, milk, crisps or an apple, and you, again, I can just add another, uh, as many items as I want, well, up to a point, eggs. Doesn't really matter, I'm just doing this to show you. And delegates would then, when I press present, uh, again, the code is generated, the code lasts for 48 hours. They can see it on screen, you can also post it in the chat, and all of these will rank differently according to what delegates press, and it takes literally we're into seconds, seconds for delegates, seconds for us. And I'll show you, actually, you know, I could do this all day. I absolutely love this. There are some great quizzes. So you could set up a quiz. And what I love is the music. So I haven't put any options in yet. So I just option one, two or three, A, B or C. I'm just making things up. You choose how long you want them to, uh, that delegates have got to answer. It could be 15 seconds, you see, here on the right. And you choose some music. So I'm going to choose the birdies. But just look when I present. So, <laughs> I just love that. It, how can you not be happy? <laughs> okay. And you can add some more quiz questions and the music will keep playing and you just set it up and it runs itself. It's all time. So delegates answer. You can get some quicker answers. You can give them more time. There are some text answers they can do. It is such good fun. 
and it comes out with a leaderboard at the end as well. The other thing I want to show you, and there's so many, is I just love this two by two grid as well. So you can get delegates to rank how important is each idea. And, you know, use these, adapt these for the things you want. And you could say uh, idea one, idea two, idea three. I'm doing this in real time. So you can see this is literally how I set stuff up. And uh, you can have four values if you want, four axes or two. I'm going to go with two. How important for customers I'll have on one axis and on the other axis I'm going to have important for employees and then delegates give each one a score and these blobs get plotted around and you can see things in the top right hand corner the top right hand box are really important for customers and employees you can see where everything sits so it's just a really nice way of quickly getting everybody to prioritize and sort things out Goodness me, look, I could spend so long on here, but if you haven't tried it, all you do is it's just quicker than actually doing a slide deck. Just go into mentimeter.com, register, have a play around, have a look in the inspiration library, give it a go, practice with some friends, have a look at the user experience as well. There is so much I could show you, but I hope that gives you a start and I hope that gives you some confidence to go in, log into Mentimeter, set a few of those slides up, get a few of your friends to have a go using the code and answering the questions on menti.com, see what happens for real and have fun with it because look, the more things we can do in our online meetings to make them more interactive, the better. And look, I've got so many free resources for you to help you with that. So why not check out www.bigbangpartnership.co.uk slash resources and fill your boots. There's a load of stuff on there that I hope you'll love. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to the Idea Time Show, brought to you by Dr. Joe North. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and access more completely free resources at bigbangpartnership.co.uk forward slash resources. We'll see you next time.